In this video, I want to cover formula basics. Now, I realize I may repeat myself in some of these videos, um, but you know, some of these lessons are worth hearing uh, more than once. So, uh, just bear with me if if I do repeat uh, a few things. Uh, they're probably really important. Uh, first of all, if you're going to do a formula, or when you're going to do a formula in Excel, it of course always starts with an equal. You can start right here in the cell where you want the answer by simply typing equal, and <clears throat> then you, you never type the numbers. Right? That's one of the mistakes rookies make when they start using Excel. They'll say, well, it's 40 plus 41, right? Th that's absolutely useless because if you decide you want to change one of those numbers, you then have to change your formula, right? So it's way better. It's much more practical just to click on the cell if you want and enter the reference of that cell. So always use the cell reference, not what's in the cell. And this way, if the contents of any of the cells change, your formula will all automatically adjust. That's the true power of Excel, right? So always use the cell reference, not, um, not the contents of the cell. So you, you can double click to edit, right? So here I missed Friday, so I would want to add one. Okay, so double click and I can edit right inside the cell. Or if you're in the process of editing and you want to get out, right? I don't want to do this now. Just hit escape. That'll get you out. You can also use the formula bar to edit stuff. So if I want to add G here, which I do, I'll just click and then I can type G5 or I can click right on the cell G5. Either way works. All right. So those are really, really critical, important lessons that you need to remember when you're using Excel. Um, <clears throat> when you're ready to copy a formula, you use your fill handle here. Your fill handle will copy this formula to cells that are adjacent, so right next to one another. And it doesn't do a true copy. If it did a true copy, we'd have 207 all the way down. Uh, Excel has uh, like a smart copy feature where if I'm copying this down, it just automatically assumes that every cell in my formula is going to go down. So C5 is going to turn into 6, so all those are going to switch to 6. And that's the default of Excel. It just assumes that you're going to change in the same direction. And if I had a, a formula that was copying these up here, now this is the old school style where you're adding this way. You're gonna learn about functions, which are very easy to use. You simply use one of the popular functions and this one here adds and it's, it's guessing, right? It's finding the first five numbers and saying, is that what you want? And in this case, it's not guessing properly, it's missing some. So I'm just gonna drag that up and correct the guess. I could have also changed the guess down here by typing C14 and when you're done, you hit enter. And the fill handle works the same way here, is I would just click and drag. Now, because I'm going to the right, it's going to hit undo here. I, because I'm going to the right, so now all of my cells are going to go to the right by one. So instead of C5, it's going to say D5 and then D14, etc. Right? So it went D, E, F. So that's how Excel copies formulas. Very important that you remember that. I'm going to get into... Um, uh, 3D formulas where you're able to add cells from other sheets. But what I forget to talk about in that one video, so I'm going to mention it now, if I want to add a cell from another book altogether, all right, I have that other book open right now. So I'm going to start by hitting equal right here. And then with that book open, I'm going to just scroll over to it and I'm going to click on the cell that I want to add. And it's added it to there. And then I'm going to go back to the book where I want the formula. And then I'm going to say plus 351 or C15 and there it goes. Now those two books are now linked so whatever happens in here if this cell grows to be let's say 10,000 just to be dramatic here when I go back to this cell to this workbook that formula has adjusted automatically. So here my formula which is a real tough formula to memorize so I'm not even going to try it to, to explain this to you. Uh, for me when I want to do this I simply open both Start with equal, click on the cell I want, come back to this sheet and then add whatever it is I want and I've got that. So these are these two books are now linked. So if, if this changes at any time, it will change, the answer will change in this book. Uh, a little advanced for now, but because I forgot to mention it in a future video, I thought I'd tackle it now since you're watching all the videos. Anyway, next, something from grade three. I know it's grade three because I taught grade three one year and we covered this. 
And it's the mathematical operations. Um, and you might have been taught BEDMOS, which meant bracket, exponentiation, division, multiplication, and dis addition, subtraction. So when you're using like a scientific calculator or a spreadsheet, that's the order in which it will do the math. So if I were to ask you, what's two plus four times six, right? Um, if I were to go equals two plus four times six, if I did that equals two plus four, <clears throat> times 6. So 2 plus 4 times 6 is 36, right? Okay, that's not the way Excel understood it. Because of brackets, exponentiation, it did the division and the multiplication before it did the addition. Addition and subtraction are at the bottom of the list. So here, it did this first. Okay, if you want to do the addition first, you need to put this in brackets. And then you hit enter and now you've got the answer you want so 2 plus 4 is 6 times 6 um, critical you need to know you need to understand why that works uh, yes it's math um, the, don't avoid Excel because it does math if, if anything it's a reason you should embrace it math isn't going away neither is your need or uh, to use math in the real world so um, this is like a calculator uh, made much more useful, made, made easier, made more powerful. Um, so it does a lot of great things for you. But yes, there are some math things that you need to remember, such as bed moss, 